Hello friends, today we are starting our measurement unit and um, I wanted to talk about a couple of different things but first I wanted to talk about the word measurement. So the really interesting thing is that measurement is a word that is used to describe um, all sorts of things. It's used to describe measuring length, it's used to describe measuring time, it's used to describe measuring temperature, it's used to um, describe measuring capacity or how much fluid something holds. It's also um, used to describe um, finding the weight. So that's all part of measurement. But we're going to look at one very specific part of measurement right now because we've been looking at other parts or we'll look about other parts of measurement like, like I said, telling time and about telling temperature and all some of those other things and we'll talk about capacity later on this year. But what we are very specifically talking about for right now is measuring length, which is right here. So there's two kinds of ways to measure length, and I have two different um, I have two different uh, charts right here to talk about the different ways that we measure length. But before we start doing that, I'm going to talk about our math focus, which is either I can show understanding of the relationship between length and the numbers on a ruler to measure lengths to the nearest centimeter or inch, or I can also use half units when measuring distances. So let's look at really quickly before we talk about where do we use measurement in real life, which is so many places, we're going to talk about the two different ways of measuring length. Uh, one way is called customary, and the customary system of units uses the inch, the foot, and the yard to measure. Um, you may hear Mr. Jason in the back going, going boo because believe it or not, the United States is one of the few countries that actually uses the customary units of measurement. Not a lot of other countries do that because most countries and most other places and most science uses metric units, the metric units of measurement, which measures by the centimeter, the meter, and the meter. Um, a good way to think about for, but we're going to be really focused on customary measurement here for a few lessons. And for customary, you when, when you think about the inch, you think about a small paper clip. When you think about a foot, you think about the length of a ruler because one foot equals 12 inches. Um, when you think about a yard, it's about the width of a door opening and one yard equals 36 inches and one yard also equals three feet. The three different ways we typically measure length with customary that we're going to be talking about in these early lessons are using the inch ruler, which you should have one at home, um, a yardstick, which a yardstick that is like up here, it said the length of three rulers or three feet, and a measuring tape is also often the other way you measure with some sort of, if you measure with customary units. When you are measuring with metric units, you are using the centimeter, which is actually the opposite side of your ruler, believe it or not. The, and you're also measuring with the meter, which is a bit more than the width of a door because one meter equals 100 centimeters. And the tools that you typically use to measure with the metric system are centimeter rulers and meter sticks. So we are going to be talking about measuring length for right now or how long something is or what's the distance between one part to one part on one object, okay? So we'll come back to this a little later in our lessons, but um, for right now, before, as we're starting our short unit on measurement and length, we really wanna think about where do we use measurement in real life? So believe it or not, there are tons of ways that we use measurement in real life. And when I wrote this, I really was trying to think about just length, not measuring, like I said before, time or capacity or weight or any of those other kinds of measurements. So I was just trying to think about where we use the, why is it so important for us as second and third graders to know how to measure length? Um, so I was thinking about the first one right here, which said, when we have to measure items to make sure they fit into a space or we bring them home to buy them. So for example, we are just bought a new couch for our house and we had to spend a long time measuring our living room 
to make sure that all of the pieces would be fitting in our living room. And we made sure to measure more than once. We also needed to measure to make we need to measure our door to make sure that all the pieces would fit through our door as well. Um, another reason why it's good to know how to measure in real life or measure the length of something is when we need to measure our bodies to buy new clothes. So clothes are often sold the sizes that go with measurement. So sometimes you'll take out a measuring tape for this, something that's flexible to maybe measure your waist or another part of your body to try and figure out what size clothes you need. Um, and sometimes this is handy also because oftentimes these days, sometimes we're buying clothing online and they list a series of measurements that go with different sizes. So another reason is um, when we estimate with our eyes, so estimation of length, if something can go somewhere. So the some, some of the things I wrote was like a truck through a tunnel or if a rather large food item can fit in the fridge. That's a problem sometimes with our freezer. Say if we go to Costco and buy something quite large, like will it actually fit in our freezer or will we need to cut it in half or do we just need to look at buying something else instead? So believe it or not, being able to measure length is a really, really, really important life skill. So over this time of lessons where we are learning how to use certain measuring tools and where we are learning to measure correctly, you need to pay great attention because this is a skill that you are going to be using for the rest of your life. Have a fantastic day, friends.